welcome to gear box let's test if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and give video the thumbs up if you like them all right so in the previous videos we have been talking about operators and we have covered assignment operator and we have covered arithmetic operator in this video we are going to talk about comparison operator and these are very important because going forward when you start writing the programs right you require to assess a condition and once the condition evaluates to true right then you are going to perform specific set of instruction if it evaluates to false then you are going to take a different route altogether all right so one way of validating the condition is with the help of these comparison operators okay so we have already used single equal to that is called as assignment operator there are few more if you use double equal to which means that you are comparing two operands with each other the one on the right with one on the left all right so what i have seen people making mistake a lot of time is that while evaluating the condition right in those if and for they use single equal to no we are comparing things and we have to use either double or triple equal to all right so double equal to and triple equal to so let's do that let's say let a is equal to 32 okay and if i say a equal to 10 what will happen is we are going to initialize a new value which is 10 to a that's not what we want we want to compare if a is equal to 10 or not all right so when you do so this is the result that you're going to back going going to to receive right get back so this is false because a is 32 and not 10 okay so if you do a double equal to 32 this is what you get so now it's true all right this condition evaluates to true what else can we do can we do 10 is greater than a so a is what 32 and we get false right but 42 is it greater than a yes all right so you get this back okay uh, what else can you do you can do 10 is less than 32 that evaluates to true is 10 greater than 32 no okay so these are different operators we can say uh, 10 is not equal to 32 that's true right so therefore you get this back all right what about this triple equal to okay so let's understand that so we say that a is equal to 32 and say let b equal to in string so this is a string right in double quotes this is a string so you get this so we say a double equal to b and we get true so what happens when you use double equal to you just validate the content okay you don't validate the data type what if you want to also validate the data type so in that case you have to use triple equal to and now you get false so and let's take it to the next level we see null equal to equal to so double equal to undefined and we get true right because we are ignoring the data type so essentially they are same but if i use triple equal to and say undefined I get false back okay so that's the difference between double equal to and triple equal to and that's briefly about comparison operator one more thing before we end this so we are comparing the primitive data types right in case of non primitive data types they let's let's see that by example so let me say let's pick a simple example array is equal to one two three okay this array is created let brr is equal to this is also holding the same value one two three all right so if i do arr double equal to brr i get false if i do triple equal to also i get the same result back so these are non-primitive data type all right so 
they they should be pointing to the same object in the memory and then only they be considered as equal okay and how can i make that happen so i can say let crr is equal to arr so now crr is also pointing to the same memory address to which arr is pointing all right and if i do crr equal to double equal to arr i get the result as true so this is how we compare the non primitive data types okay that's a slight difference when you work with comparison operators on primitive data types and non primitive data types all right i hope you liked it thank you so much thanks for watching see you in the next video